you guys already know what I like to use for my base and actually before I put my eyeshadow on I like to do that while I'm baking okay so everything else is baking and what I like to do is to just sweep any if like my leftover baking powder across my lid I always feel like that sets it so I do this whether I'm putting on colour or no colour so normally I'll just leave it like this but today I've got something super fun Tammy X Revolution palette I have taken forever to get this but I'm so happy that I've joined and I've supported love Tammy I've been watching her forever since she started talking about her twins um, I'm gonna go in with Isle of Spice which is this colour right here and I think one of the first things I was really impressed by is the fact that she spoke about the way that women of colour really struggle with finding transition colours on the high street in affordable palettes so she made sure she included that so I'm just going to pop Isle of Spice across both lids. Lid. I'm going with a purpley colour. This is Purpy Perps. How cute is that, Tammy? Purpy Perps. Just there. Is just going to start in the corner out here. So, Purpy Perps is actually presenting like a bit of a pinky colour, and I should have really zoomed in a bit more but I feel like you guys will will get that colour really nice colour payoff and I'm just sweeping it into the crease a bit more I'm going to actually go for this deep green colour which is Rainforest just there, I don't think my camera's picking up but yeah, Rainforest there and I'm just going to spar that into the corner just a touch I feel like black black would be too harsh so I'm just going to take that in and the green and the purples making it like a deeper grey colour and I'm pushing that into the crease and the outer V I am going to grab a little bit of my concealer and just wipe that straight onto the lid with this corner and do the thing here. I'm hoping to just make that a bit tackier so I can try and get like the glitter. I'm gonna take a flat brush and sort of like blend that out a bit. I'm just gonna take one that's sort of like a rose gold colour which is called Enchanting right there I kind of struggle with the glitters a little bit with this palette but hopefully this should do the trick for my tear dark to be honest I think they're all a little bit too grainy up here so for my tear dark I'm probably not going to go for anything out there and instead I am going to use something that's revolution but something that I always go to which is the ultra sculpt and contour the goldy color take a little bit of that and go into my tear duct now I don't go as far as a lot of people do I'm I'm quite tame with my inner tear duct so I'm actually tapping on waterfall which is this blue here, makes the rainforest. And I'm just gonna start steady, slightly on top of my waterline. I don't take it down as far as other people do as well. Like. And then I'm going into the green a bit, just to blend it with the blue. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I absolutely love this. And again, big congrats to Tammy on an amazing collaboration and something that I think is just going to be one of those palettes that 
every girl whether you're a woman of colour or not needs and I really 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 enjoy playing around with some of these colours and I think I'm going to do a few more looks where I explore with colour so definitely keep on watching guys I hope you enjoyed this video until the next one take care bye